name is Mark Elliott and I'm the principal of Satellite High School in Satellite Beach, Florida. Satellite High School is located on the east coast of Florida, commonly known as the Space Coast. We are a beachside community that consists of approximately 10,000 residents. Satellite High is a highly distinguished academic school with a student body of 1,350 grades 9 through 12. The first person I have to recognize is Mr. Randy Pitts, our automotive teacher. Mr. Pitts just received the 2016 Florida Association of Career and Technical Educators President's Award for his dedication to student achievement. The other areas that are key to our success, our program is NATEF certified, which requires very high standards. Our automotive lab is equipped with tools and equipment which meets industry standards. Our auto facility includes a classroom with a computer lab, the most current textbooks both in hard copies and online, and an up-to-date automotive industrial lab with six bays. 10% of our enrollment is female. And finally, we offer industry certification in two areas, the Florida Automotive Dealership Exam and the ASE G1 Maintenance and Light Repair Exam. My name is Carlos Menendez. I'm the co-owner and vice president of a large Chrysler dealership here in Melbourne and I'm an advisor to the Satellite High School Automotive Program. I got my start in the car business uh, in an actual high school automotive program. One of the big challenges that the students face now is the technology and sophistication of today's cars and trucks. The technology is also changing so fast just from, from model year to model year. Another one of the big challenges they face is the cost of tools that it takes for them to be in the business. It's a huge investment for them and it's something that we do help them along with uh, as they progress with our dealerships. Uh, the training is another issue. It's a lifelong learning process because the technology just changes so fast. The school has a great automotive program but they can't teach all the technology that there is so that's where we come in once they graduate and and take from there with all the manufacturers training. As an advisor to the Satellite High Automotive Program, we hire qualified students to come to work in our dealership in various positions. We currently have six students working for us, and I'd like to introduce you to Rachel Walters, who we recently hired as a service advisor. Hi, my name is Rachel Walters. I'm a 2016 graduate of the Satellite Automotive Program, and I currently work here at the dealership as a service advisor. I love the Satellite Automotive Program. Mr. Pitts was a really awesome instructor, he was very, very good at teaching us and very knowledgeable. Um, being able to go out into the shop and learn and work hands-on was awesome. All the tools and everything was provided with really, really great training. The experience of participating in the Quaker State Challenge um, and going to the Mecham Auction was really awesome and unique. We, got, we worked on our car and it got auctioned off. It was sold for $6,000 and that money went straight to our program at Satellite. Hi, my name is Randy Pitts. I'm the automotive instructor here at Satellite High School, which is a program that I graduated from. Satellite High School is a NATIS certified program, which means that every two and a half years, we have to have a review and every five years, our program has to be recertified. We are required to have at least 20 hours of up-to-date training. I bring this information back to my students. All of this stuff is real good information for our students to learn what's out there in the industry. Our advisories come to our school and talk to our students. We talk about job placement, what they're looking for in an interview. We also take field trips to the dealership so that they can see what the real world experience would be like. I use a variety of different type of people, organizations, the community. They all support us very well. We have received quite a few donations this year. We have gotten the Ford Expedition. We've had a Dodge Durango donated to us. Melbourne Police has donated cars to us. And we've had several other type cars donated to us. We've also had some money donated to us to help our program out. It's an amazing car, 350 cubic inches, pushing about 700 horsepower. I'd say, this car could fly. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen, why don't you guys go over to the um, alignment rack, over to the Hawkeye, and I have some people to talk to, and I'll catch up to you later. Right. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm Jim Johnson. I'm the resource teacher for the automotive programs for Bavard Public Schools. There are six automotive programs in our county. Satellite is one of six. The question is, in a time when schools are cutting programs due to funding, how has the Satellite High School Automotive Program been able to succeed and survive? These programs were very expensive to run, as you know. Conventional budgeting of monies into the programs is not enough to run these programs. 
What we do here at Satellite High School, as we do in all of the automotive programs, is we find alternate funding streams. Those funding streams are competitions. Competitions that are offered from various people to where if you come in first, second, and third, there is money and prizes available to the programs. Currently, the program here at Satellite has earned $18,100 in competitions that they won in the 2015-16 school year. And we have every opportunity for this year and this next year coming to get into more competitions so we can actually fund our programs to the level to which they need to be funded.